I was unbelievably shocked at the photographs I saw. I was shocked beyond belief. In fact, I almost wanted to like break down that he was subjected to this type of insanity. The probably the most um, shocking one, of the, at least from a photographic standpoint, was a picture of an Iraqi male laying on the front of a Humvee with um, the platoon's first sergeant uh, holding uh, his brains in his hand. And you can see clearly see the um, wound on the, the Iraqi's head, which was basically had no skull left, and, and you could only see his brain cavity. Um, blood all over the Humvee, and the first sergeant was holding the brains as a trophy. After they took the photographs, the first sergeant mounted, everybody mounted back in the Humvees, and he had the Iraqi interpreter over the loudspeaker of the Humvee basically um, shout out threats to the neighborhood that if they didn't comply with the wishes that they were asking them to do, that they would have the same fate. And they drove up and down the neighborhoods with this body on the Humvee hood um, and basically threatening the neighborhood about it. And I had known that situations like this had occurred before and maybe some in Iraq. But to me, I, I don't know how John kept it together the whole time and actually got out of there alive.